Hi there. Um, wow, who is it? Joe. Um, mentioned that I made eight petal flower. I did. I didn't have a. I mean, I've got a the Hello Kitty die, but I wanted a bigger flower. So doing it yourself, uh, you can cut whatever it is, or whatever size you like. So what I'm going to show you now is how to do the eight petal flower. Now you take your, I'm using the big ones because these will come in handy for something anyway. You take your square, okay? You, I did have it, I did video it this, uh, doing this, but for some reason it didn't load. So I had to miss that bit out. Fold it corner to corner, okay? So you've got that. Fold it corner to corner again. So whatever sh uh, size flower you want, you must make sure that when you folded it, from the point to the edge you have that size petal. So, if I wanted a six inch, uh, um, yeah, it's just say for argument's sake, I wanted, um, sorry, a three inch flower across, I would have to measure it and make sure my square was cut one and a half inches. If you understand what I mean, I'll show you. I mean, what does this measure? Let me just show you this. Oops, wrong way. Right, I'm, I'm going to end up making um, a six inch flower by doing this. Because when you open it up, you've got the whole flower. So fold it in half, corner to corner. Fold it in half again. Fold the first flap back on itself. Like that. Now here, I would have six petals. But because I want eight, I'm gonna, you know, you have to fold it this way. I'll show you how to do the six as well. So there you go. So now I've got that. Now obviously, I know, I mean, I do it by eye, but, you know, just in case you, you're not quite sure and or you're not feeling confident... Shape it round like that. That's not quite right, sorry. So you're doing a cone there, like that. What did I do with my, um, what's my call it? No, never mind. Anyway, so you're cutting that. And you just chop it round. So you've got eight. Like that. So fold it back. Now what you do is, you cut from about, oh, well you can start at the top in the middle and start to shape, <coughs> excuse me, your petal and just cut it like that. Turn it over, I find it easier to do it that way, from the middle again and cut round. Now you can reshape these however you want, okay? So then what I do is, I open up and then I just snip, I mean look at the size of this, <laughs> I just snip down each line and I have an eight petal flower and the thing is when you're doing flowers and you're doing them by hand um, the more petals you have the better the fullness of the flower is right so there you go I've got the eight. and then all you can do then is if you're not quite happy with the shape of the petal you just trim it round like that and you get a perfect uh, petal shape. Now what I'm going to do with this one just right now, oops, just move that one out of the way. So you can just shape them how you want. Like that. You, and I do it like this. I do one side, then I turn it over because I find it a lot easier to do. Because you're getting that gap between that petal and this. I just, I just do that. Oops, look what I've done. Ignore that. You know what I mean. This is why you've got to be careful. And, and then I turn it over and do the opposite side. Move that out of the way. It's a lot easier. Like that. You end up with smooth edges. Because when you're cutting out by hand and you're, you're doing several layers at once, you don't always get a smooth edge. But just trim them down. Just do that. It's easy. Like that. I'll just tidy this one up. There. And you've got a perfect flower. Like that. Now, to do a three pet uh, a six petal flower, again, fold it in uh, half, corner to corner. I'm gonna to have to do. I'm gonna make these into a picture mat now. I'm gonna have to. Uh, 
<laughs> right. And then what you do is you f mm, yeah, we'll do it this way. Fold this about a third of the way like that. Turn it over and fold that back. Might not have got this bang on. It doesn't matter. Okay, not quite on there, so I'm just going to change that a little bit. We'll do it like that. Okay. Again, cut your cone. So you're going from that corner. You can do it like that. Like that, so you've got your cone. That mine's, you just trim it till you get it right. Like that. And that's giving you six. See? You've got six. So to do eight, you fold it in half, in half again, fold the flap back and the other flap on the opposite way. To do six, you fold it and go over three quarters of the way, well, you know, a third of the way, and then fold the other one back as well. And then what you're going to do is make your flower cut, you know, the, the down the sides. Turn it over and just continue to do that. Open your flower up. And then just cut them down to where you want them. I always take them down as far as I can. Because they're more flexible if you want to twist them. Okay, so you've got that. And then all you do is just trim them up. Like that. A little bit time consuming, but you're getting what you want. Oops. What time are we on? 21 seconds to go. So I'm just going to quickly trim that. Now I'm also going to show you how to do one, um, if I remember rightly, just open that up and then we have to, it's, it is difficult, but what I'm going to do is you have to fold that one into that one, so it's got to be edge to edge, like that, and then you fold in this one in to that one. It is a bit tricky but once you get used to doing them you just fold it in so the crease is in like that. Okay? And then we'll fold that one like that. And then take your scissors and cut that. So what I've done right I'll just show you. I folded the card corner to corner I folded it in half I then folded it back like I did for the eight petal one then you fold the front flap over again turn that over and fold the back flap over and then you open it up once you've put your crease in and all you do is you fold the, the middle bit into the, that crease and then again you do the same as that one and you end up <clears throat> with another cone shape like that. Now, it is quite thick, unless you're using thin paper. This is quite thick paper, actually. But then you just cut down, like that. Then you can go back and trim all the petals later. And we'll un unfold it. And you've got a daisy, like that. Okay? And like I say, take some small scissors, make sure you trim right down. You don't have to do it on all of them, but keep them all roughly the same size. You just turn around and trim each petal. But I will show you the type of flower you can get from this. And that's why I say they're a little bit time consuming, but it's the, the added bonus you get of having a, a fantastic flower that you've made hand cut nobody else's uh, well they don't sell them put it that way
But there's endless, endless possibilities. And there really are endless possibilities. Just got time to finish this one off. Yeah. But as you can see, you end up with that flower. So, you know, I've got a, a six petal, um, an eight or a sixteen petal flower. Uh, and like you say, you can curl them. And I can find my uh, my thingy. You do all sorts with them. Hope I've got time for this. One minute seven. Now you do this and do two or three layers and you're going to have one fantastic full flower. Like that. Look at it. Imagine two or three layers like that. But you don't have to do them this big. I'm just saying. But they would look nice on a mini. You know. And you can have them that way. Two or three layers. Do different sizes. You know, there's so many possibilities. What we're on now, right? I'm just going to show you this. Cut that. Okay, where's my uh, thingy? Um, and curl it up like that. And then you've got a different shape petal. Just so so much you can do with them. So I'll leave it at that and let you play about. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye.